Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2017. Things haven't gone to plan, which always seems to happen around this time of year. And I'll show you why. Basically, this could be the penultimate episode of the season, or it could be the start of something great. Since we last met, which was the home leg against Celtic, we have played four games, we have not won any of them, we've drawn two all with Arsenal. And Everton, I don't know why I did it in that order. Gabbiadini and Romelu scored twice against Everton. Gabbiadini and Big Wes scored the two goals against Arsenal. We then went to Villarreal, where we are 2-1 down. Charlie Austin gets us an away goal, but we are 2-1 down. And then we threw it away in the FA Cup. So, if we lose the Villarreal game, I'm probably just going to go to the end of the season, so the Newcastle Stoke Burnley triple header at the end. If we beat Villarreal... The Europa League is basically going to become our focus. Something I completely forgot to mention, we have had our youth intake come in, and there are some good players in here. Daniel Barker is a 16-year-old English striker who has got a hell of a lot of potential, apparently. Robert Reeves is 15. He's a left-footed... No, either-footed. He can play left-back, centre-back, or right-back. I'm not sure where I'm going to play him yet. He's 5'11". I might make him a centre-back. Scott Whitehead is another 16-year-old striker. He does have 19 determination, so he looks pretty good. He's got a decent amount of potential as well. Paul Taylor, 16-year-old left-back from England. He doesn't look very good. The potential is all right. We'll keep an eye on him. And the last one I'll show you is Gary Thomas, who's a 15-year-old right winger. I don't play wingers, as you are fully aware, so I'm actually retraining him as a right-back. I don't really know whether that's going to work. Let's try and keep the European dream alive. We are 2-1 down against Villarreal. We do have the away goal. Villarreal's last match, they won 6-3 against Celta Vigo. So they do like scoring goals and we do like conceding them. I've got a couple of issues as well. Thomas Delaney is suspended. Kyriakos Papadopoulos is injured as well. And obviously the usual issue where lots of players aren't, they're just not registered because I'm an idiot. The starting lineup goes as follows. Fraser Forster in goal, Hugo Mallo, Lorenzo Tonelli, Big Wes and Kieran Tierney at the back. Big Wes and Tierney, one yellow card away from being suspended. However, if we lose this game, it's irrelevant. Midfield, Mary Lamina, Kisung Young and Oriol Romeu. Again, Lamina, much like Big Wes and Tierney, he won't play the next game if he gets booked. Won't make a difference if we lose this game. Advanced playmaker Dusan Tadic, strike force of Charlie Austin and Manolo Gabbiadini. Let's swap those two around and let's get into the game. When we played these last, Carlos Baca, he was the problem. He was very, very good. So I might need to consider man marking him, possibly. Always tight marking. Sure, that sounds like a bad idea. And let's apply that advice as well. No, no, always time marking. Let's go. Aggressive, let's be angry. I know a lot of you are keen to avenge what happened last time we played Villarreal. Go out there and express yourself. Express yourself? That's not what I would have said. Like I said earlier, we are on a run of four, not defeats, just not wins. Lamina's coming through. Gabbiadini's had a shot. Hold on, 14 seconds on the clock and we've got a corner. We are going to take the corner as well. This is not just going to be a wasted highlight. Tadic. Crosses it in, all the way to Romeo at the back, back to Tadic, key, Romeo's got a bit of space, Romeo has had a shot, it's gone in, I think Gabbiadini gets a deflection, Romeo's claiming the goal, it is 2 all, and if it stays like this, we are going through runaway goals. Well that was an exciting first minute of the game, Romeo plays the ball back out to the corner taker Tadic, Tadic to key, key to Romeo, Romeo has a bit of space, has a shot, it takes a deflection off someone who I'm pretty sure was offside, not going to complain, it's 1-0 on the night, 2-2 on aggregate. Tadic with a free kick. Key, it's it's a penalty. Yuri has fouled someone. It's a penalty. Key is stepping up to take it. Only four minutes on the clock as well. And we are potentially going to be 2 0 up. This goal effectively makes no difference. Key with the goal puts it into the top corner. Because now, if Villarreal score, we go into extra time. We need a third goal. And then Villarreal need to score two. Key's penalty, top left hand corner. Keeper's not saving it. Key's scored a few this season now, mainly penalties. It's a highlight straight away. This is not a good good thing to happen. Joel Campbell, that is not Joel Campbell, is it? Romeo tackles him, Charlie Austin flicks it forward. Gabbiadini, can he take on his man? He can, he's got a bit of space, he's going to shoot. He has had a shot and it was pretty terrible. And Fernandez in the Villarreal goal gets it clear. 
Tadic with a free kick. Backer heads it clear only as far as Lamina. Lamina's coming forward. Lamina's put it in the bottom corner. We're 3-0 up after eight minutes. Tadic's free kick is cleared by the striker, Backer. Lamina runs forward, gets a little bit of an opening, puts it right in the bottom corner. Keeper couldn't see it. 3-0 on the night, 4-2 on aggregate. I think we're going through. Tadic again with a free kick in basically the same place. It's cleared only as far as Key though. Key to Tonelli. Back to Key. Tadic. Romeo. Tadic gets it back. Austin. Lamina's through. Lamina's made it 4-0 after 17 minutes. Romeo gets the ball. Tadic. Austin. And then Mario Lamina, who's got two this game now. Who I was tempted to not play him because he's booked. I might actually sub him. Because it looks like at this rate we're going through. Key with the corner. As far as Tadic. Tadic to Romeo. Romeo with the shot. It's cleared only as far as Mallow. Are we going to come forward again or are we going to end the highlight? Tadic with a free kick. It's deflected. It's gone in. It's 5-0. After 32 minutes, we are 5-0 up. We really struggled against this team last time around. Tadic's free kick on the edge of the D. Takes the deflection off the wall. Wrong foot's the goalkeeper. 5-0. We've had 10 shots on target and five of them have gone in. I've just noticed we've scored five goals and they've all been scored by midfielders. Yuri, B. They got two Yuris? They've crossed it in. Big Wes gets it clear. Lamina doesn't get the ball though. Backer's there. He's not there. Pablo, I think that was on the volley. I think that was a very good finish. An absolute howitzer by Fornals. Ball is cleared only as far as Pablo. And Pablo on the a side foot volley. I think that might have just been the animation. Puts it in the back of the net. It's 5-1. We're still not at half-time. And now we are at half-time. Give overall team talk. I'm pleased. Keep it going. I might bring off Gabbiadini because he's looking complacent. Let's bring on Dembele. Dembele's been on a pretty poor run of form. So maybe this is the game for him to get back to scoring ways. I am also very tempted to sub Lamina, Tierney or Big Wes off. Because I kind of need them. Tierney's the most likely one. Speaking of, he's got the ball. He's coming forward. He finds Tadic. Tadic hasn't really got anywhere to go, so he's just being pushed back towards the halfway line. He can find Romeo if he's clever. He's not clever. He's found Amina, though. Key. Key's going to pass it back to Tadic. Tadic, now he finds Romeo. Romeo tries to play it to Austin, doesn't quite get there, and now Villarreal can counter-attack. Backer. He's coming forward. Tonelli with a big, big tackle. Now we're going to counter their counter? Tierney's coming forward. Austin. Romeo, he's got a bit of space. Can he find Dembele? Doesn't matter, he's gone alone. He should have passed. He really should have passed. Tadic with a free kick. We have been all over them. It's another penalty. Rick Karsdorp is going to get sent off by the looks of it. We've got another penalty. I guess Lamina's stepping up to take it because he is on a hat-trick. Karsdorp, Dorf? Karsdorp even, has been sent off. Lamina's going to take the penalty. We could be 6-1 up here. We are not 6-1 up. Fernandez with a save. And Villarreal can get it clear. 65 minutes played. I don't think we're going to get beaten. So I'm going to do my subs to try and uh, keep some players from getting suspended. So Big Wes and Tierney coming off. Sebastian Jung, he's not a left back. He's a right back. He's coming on in left back. And Christoph Clara is making his European debut, I guess. Unless he's probably played in the group games. Lamina's been booked, so Mario Lamina will miss the next game. Key with the corner. Dembele doesn't quite get there. Comes all the way back out to Jung. Jung, where is he going to go? He's found Romu. Romu's found Tadic. Tadic, can he find anyone? He cannot. And Baka, Bakambu, Bakambu is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's made it 5-2, 6-4 on aggregate. If they score two more goals, we are actually out. I'm going to go defensive just to make sure. What have I done there? What's happened? What have I done? Defensive. They've got a free kick. Oh, no, no, no. Do not do not be doing this. Do not be doing this. We're going to contain. One more goal, and we go out. Jonathan Vieira. Engels at the back post. Engels rise above Christoph Clara. My tactical substitutions probably weren't the best plan. This looks like it's it's going to end here. Unless... No, Lamina gets the ball. It's full time. We have squeaked through that. Considering we were 5-1 up, we nearly went out of the Europa League. What do I say? Well done. Just say well done. Let's just leave it at that. I want to point something out here. 
the last one, two, three, four, five, six games we have played in all competitions, we have conceded three against Celtic, two against Everton, two against Arsenal, two against Villarreal, three against West Brom, and three more against Villarreal. Our defence is so leaky, and I don't really know what to do about it. Europa League quarter-final draw time. There are some big teams definitely still in there. Three Italian sides, two Ukrainian, a German, a Swiss, and little old Southampton in there. I'd like Basel, or Red Bull Leipzig, or Dynamo Kiev, please. Or Sampdoria, I'll take them as well. Shakhtar will play Red Bull. Juventus, oh crap. Dynamo Kiev gets Sampdoria. Basel versus AC Milan, so we have to beat Juventus. It's not going to happen. When do we play them? We play them very soon. We play them literally after the Manchester City game. So in a second, I will show you the Man City game. What I might do, I know this is probably a bit early, I will probably show you Juventus and Cardiff. So I will play the home leg, or the away leg, sorry, by myself. And then we'll return for the second second leg. The, yeah, that is the right way. It's good to call the second leg. Yes, what am I talking about? Yeah, we'll return for that. But before we do that, we've got to lose to Man City. Welcome back. This is a very big game. Not so much for us. I guess it kind of is. We do have our 40 points, so relegation should be off the cards now. However, we could, in theory, be dragged back into the mix at the bottom. Like 15th, I'd say, at the moment is the lowest we could finish. The highest we could finish, arguably 7th. So a win here will keep us fighting for the Europa League spots. A defeat could be disastrous. The lineup we are going to go for against Manchester City. Fraser Forster in goal. Mallow, Tonelli, Bigwes and Matt Target as the back four. Kieran Tierney is suspended, so Matt Target has come in. Midfield, Mario Lamina, Ki Sung Young and Adrian Rabio. Dutan Tadic just behind the strikers of Dembele and Gabbiadini. I might change Dembele because he's not very good at the moment. I don't know why, but he's just not playing very well. Looking at that Man City side, I'm scared. I'm very, very scared. Their entire subs bench is better than my starting eleven. Considering Hoiberg is sat on the bench, John Stones is sat on the bench, Jesus, Sane, Mangala, Fern that subs bench is ridiculous. Look at my subs bench. This might be a dumb thing to do, but I'm going to get tight marking on Sterling and Anderson at all times. Because my fullbacks, I want literally stuck to them, like cellar taped around them. Calmly. I can't, I can't say it calmly. Assertively. Enjoy the match. No, good, good luck. Come on, lads. Yeah, come on. No, well, sure. That'll do. We do have a game in hand over most teams around us. So West Ham and Burnley, for some reason, still waiting to play. I guess maybe they're playing Monday or late on Sunday because this is a Sunday game. It's a throw on. Hugo Mallo, Lamina. Lamina's coming forward. Lamina's had a shot on Edison with a save. Otto that came out saying Otamendi was offside. I don't understand that. Target plays it forward only as far as Bernardo. Who's Bernardo? I don't know who Bernardo is. Lamina, Mallow. Mallow, uh, what are you doing, Mallow? It's not that, that difficult to pass it around a player. Danilo now. Target gets the tackle in. Gabbiadini's played it forward to Dembele. And the form Dembele's on, he's not going to score. And I was right. Edison with the kick clear. Bernardo, Sterling. Bernardo again. Bernardo to Ryan Bertrand, who used to be my player. Tonelli gets it clear only as far as Kovacic. Bertrand again. Kovacic. Sterling. Is he going to cross it? I don't... I'm tight marking Sterling and there was no one there. Target heads it. Why are you headering it that way for? Bernardo. Bernardo doesn't get it anywhere. Target gets it clear. Dembele finds Tadic. Tadic has got Gabudini there. Gabudini is going to run onto it. And Gabudini has put it into the back of the net. It is 1-0. I don't want to throw this game away. But the way I play, I probably will. Tadic gets the ball. Vincent Company of all players, gets a slide tackle in. Gabudini gets there before the goalkeeper, puts it in the corner. We are 1-0 up. How, have we deserved that lead? Corner for City. It comes in, Dembele heads it, and Gundogan with the goal is one all. We can't keep a clean sheet to save our lives. And I really don't know what it is. I'm gonna, right, I'm going to analyse this. I'm going to try and see who was at fault. Who was, who was this clown falling over? Who are you? Who was this guy? 
Lamina, are you a clown? Who are you? Rabio, you're also a clown. Dembele gets the ball. Tadic. Tadic has got some options. Lamina, Gabidini's in front of him. Gabidini gets it. Gabidini can't really go anywhere. Malo, Rabio, Tadic. Dembele. Dembele, of course he was going to miss. He really need. I'm tempted to give Dembele some games in the reserves because he's constantly offside and he just can't score. Passionately, uh, we can still come out of this with a win. Really. Really angry. You score a goddamn goal. Looked fired up. Good. He's got 15 minutes. That's what I'm giving Dembele. If he hasn't scored in 15, he's coming off. Key with the corner. It's come to Tadic. Tadic has had a shot and Lamina at the back post has made it 2-1. I thought it was going to be Dembele. It was offside. Who was offside? Bernardo with a free kick. And Bernardo's put it in the top corner. And this referee must be working for Manchester City. Because I don't know who was offside for that. Hold on. So apparently Tadic was offside. Somewhere. Tadic was offside. Tadic was here. Right, so this is the moment the ball is hit. Is there. Who's offside? No one's offside. Oh, the goalkeeper's slightly further forward. I guess if you really want to be that pedantic. I say pedantic, it's the rules. We are 2-1 down though. That's annoying. Free kick from Bernardo. Straight in the top corner. I... I really don't know what it is. Matt Target's having an absolute shocker. Tonelli's having a shocker. My goalkeeper I don't think I can trust because he can't keep a clean sheet to save his life. Well, I completely forgot to sub Dembele, who once again has had an absolute shocker of a game. You've been terrible. Everyone's been just flipping awful. Tonelli, I don't even have any s bloody defenders on the bench. Bernardo coming forward for Man City. Bertrand. Kovacic gets tackled by Rabio. Are we going to get an equaliser? Tadic. Gabiadini. Gabiadini hits it straight to the goalkeeper. He was one on one and hits it straight to the goalkeeper. Danilo with a throw on. That is probably going to be the end of the game. Target plays it forward. Tadic. Gabiadini. Charlie Austin. He's got no options. He does find Hugo Mallow. There's still 15 seconds on the clock. Bernardo tackles him. Fernandinho. That's going to be the end of the game, isn't it? Hoiberg. They brought him on just to rub it in my face. Gundogan. Bertrand. Kovacic. Hoiberg's there in front of him. Doesn't matter. 2-1 defeat against Manchester City. And I'm going to give... I'm not happy with that result. Shut your mouth, Mallow. You got booked. That's still not a good performance. Gabbiadini was happy. He got an 8.3. Moussa Dembele. Your form? You have not scored a goal since the 27th of January. And that was against Fleetwood. The last time you scored a goal in the league was a hat-trick... A bloody hat-trick against Tottenham. And that was the 24th of January. Yes, you're not starting many games. But, well, you are, actually. You're getting a decent amount of game time here. I Can I shout at you? Warn player. Criticise recent form. I can't do recent form. Have I already done this? Maybe I did this off camera. I don't think it's helped. Criticise last game. Assertively, you squandered a lot of chances. I wasn't great. But things will improve next time. I'm pretty sure you said that when I gave you a bollocking off camera. That is going to do it for this episode of Football Manager. We are still sat 12th in the table. But that is because nobody else played today. We really need to start picking up some wins. We've got 12 draws. 12 draws. Arsenal have 12 draws. And they've only lost 6 though. That's, that's our problem. We need to hold on to some leads. Next time, who are we going to be playing? I think Juventus is one, wasn't it? We're going to do Juventus, second leg, and Cardiff. And again, much like this episode, the next episode could be the penultimate episode of the season. If we go through that, and that's a very, very big if, we'll probably get both the semi-final legs and then a final episode of the final two league games, maybe, and the Europa League final. I'm being massively optimistic here. I suspect we're going to lose to Juventus, probably lose to Cardiff, and then we'll finish on Stoke Burnley and finish about 13th. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2017. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time.